for participating and all these beautiful Caribbean people here you know make me feel at home okay now I would like to thank the people who brought this up to to here in New Haven who thought about the, the issue of Caribbean heritage got together and created a committee to bring this event together and we like to thank all the, the officials here from the city of New Haven um, who have participated and helped us to bring this together. So I'm now going to introduce Kay to present to present all these beautiful people here, okay? Hi, um, I'm, I'm one of the uh, committee members and I'm here to recognize our officials. But just in case you did not know, I'm going to introduce our first person. This is Captain Helliger from St. Martin. Detective Rose Reed from Jamaica. Yeah. And if you didn't know, Rose, you were the first Jamaican to be on the force, right? The Jamaican female to be yes. on the New Haven Police Force. Yes. Um, we couldn't do this without um, Sam Brown. Sam Brown, I know you're not Jamaican or Caribbean, but just take anything. Come. They need to know you. We couldn't do this without him. Yes. 
So these are our police officials that represent us, the Caribbean nationals here in New Haven. And now we are going to represent our elected officials from New Haven and Hamden. And New Haven, we have Robin Porter. Come on, Robin. She represents Hamden and New Haven in the legislative office. And she's Jamaican Trini. Then we have, we have, uh, Lord Jesus, but Yvette, sorry. Yvette Hamilton, come Yvette. She is the older woman, and may just come off of the phone with her. <laughs> Jamaican older woman who sits on the board of alders here in the city of New Haven. And then we have Burita Rowe, Lewis, in the town of Hamden. These are all elected officials. Eh? And Miss Brenda Cyrus. Come darling. Come on, Miss Cyrus. Yes. Who was the photographer? It's up here, Ozzy Brown. Oh, it's my father in law, it's Ozzy Brown. Where is Miss? When I'm not here. And then we're going to recognize Gary. Senator. Senator. State Senator. Yes, Gary Winfield. Yeah, Gary Chan wants them. Can see your face now? <laughs> yes. And um, do we have everybody? No. Oh, no, sorry. Andy Wall from the city of New Haven. Come, Andy. All, our, all, our, all the problems with us call Andy. <laughs> So Andy, thank you so much. Woo! And that's it. And then now we're going to give it over to you. What are some of your members? We'd like to thank all the officials uh, for coming out here today. And um, please give them a loud round of applause. Don't be afraid to post those pictures on Facebook, um, Google Plus, Google Maps, and, and other social media. Right? Instagram, in particular, and Santa Gary Gary Holfield here is a very good photographer, and he has. A, what's your website? What's your website? It's too long to say, but if you're on Facebook, it's Moments by the Hour. Moments by the Hour on Facebook. Moments by the Hour on Facebook. Moments by the hour, and I, I've been to a lot of events um, with him, and he's always seemed to be very interested in taking our photos. Moments by Gary. Moments by Gary. Okay. <laughs> All right. On Facebook, it's Moments by Gary. He has tons of, of, of very beautiful pictures up of, of there. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we would also like to thank um, Chief Dean Essaman, who is the Chief of Police in New Haven, for for aiding us in this event here, and also the Police Academy of New Haven. Understanding our community is important, and those individuals are making very great inroads in, in understanding and working with our community and our community partners. So, now we're going to ask uh, the Reverend Cousins oh, of Bethlehemi to cool. do a benediction. Hi. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's pray. Grace Eternal God, we thank you for today. We thank nice. you how you smiled upon us. We ask right now that you bless this Caribbean Day Festival. Bless all the participants. Bless everybody involved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend uh, Cousins from Bethel AME. Now, St. Luke's Episcopal Church right there on Willie Avenue, New Haven, has been a stalwart in the New Haven community for over a hundred years. And we have here um, the former dynamic uh, uh, leader of the church, Father Reverend, Dr. Father Reverend Rogers. 
Better known as Father Rogers. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming, Father. It's, it's a great pleasure to be here. I know that we're cramped for time, but um, I just want to give you a little um, background of St. Luke's and um, early history and the part that uh, St. Luke's has played in this New Haven community and also the part that um, St. Luke's has played with being a church home for our folks from the island. I will take you all the way back to the 1800s and uh, St. Luke's, there were at Trinity Episcopal Church on the Green, there were about 600 members and, and of those 600 members about 50 or 60 were African Americans and uh, they were relegated to the balcony and they were excluded from any kind of organizational uh, membership and um, at one point the uh, then rector said we believe that you folks would be happier in a church of your own and so the uh, 50 or 60 uh, black members walked out and they then had the purchase um, a church, then there was another church, and then they built um, St. Luke's, the current St. Luke's, back in 1904. Now, then there was a, a local laundress by the name of Betsy Roberts, and from her meager money, she gave $5,000 to assist in the building of that church. I can tell 